Say what? <laughs> so as we all know, Morley are renowned for making exceptionally great, sturdy, well-built pedals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Morley are like a US-built, you know, boutique qualities, bent, cold steel pedals. They're wicked, but they're massive. They're huge. Yeah. They uh, they maybe didn't, you know, they they haven't modernized to how people have like large pedal boards these well, days. Until now. Until now. With the new with the new Morley Mini wire pedals. But also the other cool thing that we've got here is this, which is the um, which Steve is Rowe. yeah, but it's the first pedal out of the Morley Custom Shop. So we're getting like a custom shop uh, US made pedals. And and the cool thing about this is obviously it looks absolutely swag. Very psychedelic. Yeah, super cool design. Um, the artwork on it's actually designed by Steve Vai himself because he's not just a guitarist, he's also a graphic designer or artist and he has he has made this pedal look. Yeah, so this is cool. the Bad Horsey 2. Yeah. Um, I was reading up on this. Apparently it's, uh, there's only 700 worldwide. Really? Oh, yeah. Blimey. Yeah, they, I, I mean, I assume they didn't do many in the custom shop. Um, on the on the artwork on this pedal, I thought this was super cool because it's really nice that Steve Vai's added that kind of touch to something, that, you know, to uh, to a signature pedal. Essentially, it's not you know it's not a signature guitar, and he still really made it his own. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a super cool thing. I'm really glad he hasn't used any blood in this one. Yeah, what was that guitar he used blood? In? He had an a series of Ibanez. Uh, his uh, he had his guitar, the Gem made up as a gem DNA and it had uh, they're only a limited amount made but well, I, uh, I assume so I was Otherwise, watching he'd be dead yeah I was watching an, an interview with the with the guy who the like the painter and he was like uh, it was quite a lot of the ratio of blood to paint was quite high I always found I don't that know, I don't know, well I'm not sure I'm into I don't that know how I found much that blood you can accept blood to paint what you, you can what you can remove from a body without it I don't know a pint, but I don't know how much like how Drag much. Drag out over time. How I much imagine. paint do you need on a guitar? Depends on many. Though. What's the blood how to paint ratio? There? I don't know. Probably not that many. I mean, he could have probably done more pedals than guitars. Yeah. But nonetheless, he chose to not use DNA in this, and instead has given us a wicked graphic design on that. But it's super cool. It's also two pedals, so you can have the bad horsey. You can have like the Steve Vai wah sound but uh it also has a foot switch where you can turn on the contour wah which you have a control for unlike the bad horsey you've got like that predetermined steve vi wah sound the contour gives you that traditional moorly wah sound mm. and you can you can tailor that so you've kind of got every the, the steve vi wah is really hot like really gainy and and like a real broad sweep so the contour allows you to have something a bit more uh, a bit more subtle, a bit more like for every situation. And I guess it's worth mentioning the, the way it functions because obviously with like a crybaby, it's activated by the foot. Yeah, and that's this, right. It's obviously, yeah. you can hit it by the heel. Yeah, so it's it's activated as soon as you as soon as you start moving, rather than having to like put your weight on and click yeah, yeah. down. I think that's such a better idea. I love that it's sprung. I love that it loads back. I just yeah. think. Everything about these pedal pedals is super well built yeah, yeah. and uh, and really cool. And this is this is uh, Maverick. Yeah, that's right. Good, yeah. Which is their um, which is their foot switchless mini wire, which I think is a great idea. So you notice they've removed any any switches or controls from the uh, from from this pedal, and it's it's activated by you know as soon as you move the foot switch on top, it activates the wire. Mm. That's great. They're so much more sensible. Like. You know, especially if you're using wire pedals for a little while, that it starts to get that you have to put more and more pressure on them to activate them. And sometimes you think you've put enough pressure on them, you haven't. Your wire pedal doesn't come on. 
these will definitely always come on. I think it's a really cool design and in their mini format, I think they're rugged, well-built, like super cool. <laughs> So that was the new range of Morley Wars. But what did you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we shall see you very soon.